Hi, I would like to talk to you about something that says on my mind. Um, just recently I have been um, watching videos about um, being late diagnosed with ASD or uh, autism. Just, uh, how, I mean, basically how it feels to be um, late diagnosed with um, autism because um, I, I have I mean I haven't been diagnosed with autism until my adult years and uh, I mean and it's kind of, and it's kind of like um, <laughs> it's kind of like a little shock to me and it's, uh, I mean I mean, for years, I, uh, like, um, like, I knew it was different, but, um, uh, like, I didn't know exactly how different it was, and just, uh, people said, uh, I, I said I was, like, uh, have, uh, childhood schizophrenia, just, uh, But I never really imagined myself to have, like, uh, autism, because I never really associate autism with people, or, like, uh, like, um, Dustin Hoffman's character in Rayman. I mean, of course, um, this is a this is for, um, we had our current, um, understanding of what autism is, and, and um, now, now knowing that's uh, a spectrum disorder or a spectrum condition, that, um, that no two people with autism have, have like the uh, same symptoms. It's like, uh, I'm not sure I can, I can say it's a relief to know, to know that I have autism, right? And it's like, it's like, uh, I, I still find myself in like, in kind of like a denial, it's like, no, I don't have autism. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> Uh, well, at least I don't have, didn't have to wait until, like, I'm, like, I'm in my, um, 70s to find out I have autism, like, uh, like, in Anthony Hopkins, and of course, he, he had, he had a successful career as, uh, an actor, <laughs> I mean, Pull off characters like uh, like Hannibal from from the uh, Sounds of the Lambs uh, in Han Hannibal movies. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there. There, there are people out there who, who I mean, wouldn't normally associate with having, uh, having like autism, like, like, uh, like actress Dar Daryl Hannah, and uh, also actor um, Dan Aykroyd. Even surpri even surprisingly, it's like Roseanne Barr has autism. I don't even l like Roseanne Barr. I mean, she, I mean, she, she was she was funny back back in like in the '90s or something, but uh, actually, she's just basically been a really terrible person. 
it's like I think I think her Trump supporters basically ruined her as a as a person. And like And of course her um former her former husband, uh, Tom Arnold, is uh, autistic. Uh. And, uh, and of course there's a um, voice actor, um, Corey Burton, who, who was um, like shockwave from um, the original um, Transformers cartoons back in the 80s who, who, um, who was autistic. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Being, di being diagnosed as um, autistic um, Later in life, can can really um, ch change your life, and just like uh, it can it can be a relief, or it can or it can really uh, set you uh, like on another quest. It's, it's like uh, yeah, I I took one of those one of those tests on on. Um, like embrace autism website um basically just a questionnaire um fifty questions or something like that and I, and I scored tw scored twenty six on 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 the test and the and the, that said that I must be autistic <laughs> So great, now I have a t test that confirms that I'm autistic. <laughs> I try to answer as honestly as possible. I mean, and I and I still and I still end up as autistic. Uh, yeah. I think I came out pretty much to my entire family as be, being autistic. Uh, fortunately, I don't think don't think my dad ever knew that I was autistic. I'm just uh, uh Of course, of course, there's also that fun, fun term that been coined recently called being neurodivergent. <laughs> it makes me think of that um, that mo movie called Divergent, where uh, there, there's this um, person who person who's um, Diagnosed as di a diversion, and um, they end up joining um, a gr group of people on um, like a training session or something. Just uh, it, I mean, one of those um, one of those future speculation uh, movies. Just. Uh, Uh, so, uh, I, like, I wish I could say something um, to people out there who find out that they're uh, diagnosed as autism uh, later in life. And stuff. I mean, I mean, if you. If you've been looking for an answer to why you've been different all your life, uh, it's, and it's like uh, now you've got now you've got your answer, and hopefully, it'll, hopefully it'll satisfy you. And 
if it does uh, if it doesn't uh, that that's okay too anyway that's um, pretty much all I have to share with you in this video so have a good day and may God bless you